Hello Unreal users, Alex here, your very guide, and today I'm gonna show you how we can bake lighting with Unreal Engine in order to get photorealistic results. As you can see here, I already did a little light baking test and I'm pretty much satisfied how all those corners here, dark corners, uh, working. We get nice lighting in every far corner, even the uh, drawers here. So let me actually put it on the light mode, lighting mode, and we can see how those soft shadows, ambient inclusion is working everywhere. Uh, again, we get little artifacts here and there. We can increase the resolution of our maps uh, in order to get it a little bit better. But overall, I'm very satisfied with, uh, with this result. We can see like this light bake of nice soft shadows everywhere. All right, so we're gonna do it from scratch. I'm gonna close this and open Unreal Engine so I can show you how we can get this lighting quality. It's just the lighting, just the interior lighting. Um, we're gonna add, of course, more uh, lights to our scene, artificial lights. So today is going to be, the first part is just the prep. We're going to prepare our scene and the second part of this tutorial is going to be actually the lighting. Okay, so I'm going to start and launch my Unreal Engine and choose Architecture Engineering, Engineering and Construction. We're going to use blank, I'm going to click next, starter content and ray tracing disabled. Here I'm going to call my project loft and click create project. So now the Unreal Engine is going to launch a new fresh scene. So I can show you how we can do this from scratch. And you are more than welcome to take notes while I'm doing this. So as you can see here, this is our default starter scene. And first thing that I'm going to do is create a new level. So I'm going to here click new level. I'm not going to use the time, the daytime. We have the day and the sunset. This is a preset. If you're following this uh, training, this is the presets that I used in earlier videos. But in this one, we're going to do it again from empty scene and we're going to fill it up. And the first thing that I need to bring here is our data smith. So I'm going to go to my 3ds Max. And uh, I actually did a little update here. I've added the separation, which is uh, looking pretty cool. All right, so that's what I've added into my scene. So now we have some detail here closing. I want to actually be able to close the uh, swim pool area. Okay, so now when all this stuff here, I'm actually going to delete all my lights because I want to show you example of how we just export the geometry. I know you guys might use different software. So in this one, we're going to just export pure geometry. You can do the same thing with SketchUp, Blender, any, any software that can model and put texture uh, and have Unreal uh, export plugin. You can go and see the list of those software. Now I'm going to export that. With no lights, just geometry. So I'm going to click export and use data smith. Let's do loft. Click save. Okay. So the whole thing is being exported and the maps being unwrapped. As you guys know, um, on the second channel, we use maps for lighting. Those are the very important maps because uh, the scale and the resolution of those maps will determine how your lighting is looking, how your quality is being produced. So partially supported, we have some problems with the export of our color correction. And it just says it's going to be ignored and we're gonna use the children, like the first map that the color correction was applied. So that's not a big deal, we have another uh, texture maps here, bump and smoke that is not supported in Unreal Data Smith. So we have to go and check out um, that and replace that map. But 
uh, we don't have any geometrical problems and I don't think we have any overlaps okay so we're just gonna cl close this and go to our Unreal Engine and import data smith into this blank scene so I'm gonna go to my max files and load this right here into my uh, my file my new scene that was just created as you can see it says here untitled so the minute we bring that in we have to save this the first thing we got to do that way we will have all our changes in okay so now I'm gonna save I'm gonna do save current and let's call it loft and click save okay so now our level is uh, being saved right here every time we want to open it we can go and uh, click on that and get our level up and running okay so uh, I'm gonna take some time to uh, compile all those shaders and all those maps as you can see it's coming in slowly and here we are gonna do a couple of things before we start doing and adding lights um, first thing is of course our light maps the lighting maps we can see them if we click on optimization here viewports and light map density all right so we can see everything here in green some of them in red the red is really high resolution uh, in some cases it might be an overkill but uh, for this example i'm going to leave it uh, right now in red those that already got it but I need to bring all the all the other parts which is in green to orange semi orange something between orange and red so how we can do that I'm gonna go here to my density maps and lighting override lighting and let's put 1024 this is a very good uh, number to use we can use higher uh, 2048 but for this example I'm gonna use 1024 in places it's uh, needed in some places we might go less in some places we might go a little bit higher but we want the maps to be a little bit denser you can see the squares in green map are really big and if we zoom in into the squares of the orange it becomes much smaller so those are the squares that we're actually going to see when we go, when the light is going to penetrate and create nice lines of shadows from those uh, window frames. This is what we're going to see. So everything that doesn't get light and kind of hidden somewhere, that doesn't need um, crazy quality. So I'm going to put here 512. We can do we can do different numbers but let's try to bring everything so we can do 128 uh, 256 and 512 those are the square numbers which is really good so things that are far and hidden somewhere that you don't really see and the light is not getting there you don't really have to put uh, high quality to it but uh, other things they need to be at least orange and then later on after we bake this we can uh, readjust it in case we don't have nice straight lines we'll be able to uh, fix it so on the couches I'm gonna give a little higher 512 even though it's getting into the red um, it's still it's still gonna have a good quality I want to have nice dense ambient inclusion uh, in my and those little foldings between the little cracks in uh, in the pillows and and the and the couch so let's do this 
I'm gonna speed up this video so you guys don't have to see how I'm uh, spending time actually adjusting this all right and we have brought everything into this orange mode of all the light maps uh, this one below I'm gonna leave in green because we don't really see it it's really at the bottom but overall this is how our scene should look like so I'm gonna put it on unlit mode okay and now we can start bringing in uh, things that will help us in order uh, to get the lighting properly the first thing we need to do is to neutralize everything so I'm going to bring process volume I'm gonna put it here so with this process volume I'm going to neutralize my camera and we need to do the exposure zero and the minimum and maximum EVs also one and one all right so this way our exposure of a camera will not ramp up and we will have everything in constant exposure second thing we need to bring is oh we forgot um, the next thing in this post-processing volume, we're gonna do slope, toe, and shoulder, following the recommendations of Epic Games, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, and 0.25. So this will give us really nice contrast. Um, this is a filming color correction that's been um, recommended by uh, Unreal Engine team, Epic Games. Next, we're gonna do the ambient occlusion really low, 0.1 and 15, barely not I think that. And we need to also enable infinite extent unbound. That means this map, this square, doesn't have borders, so it will be applied to entire world, entire scene. Yeah, um, previously, I showed you uh, when we were placing the post-processing volume it had to cover the scene when we activate this option it doesn't have to okay so now we got this uh, up and running here with our uh, neutralizing post-processing volume next thing we have to add is importance volume so importance volume is uh, something that's actually saying to our world that everything inside this box is important and bake this at the highest quality so that way we are saving time for not rendering I mean light baking things that are not in our scene and uh, you may have some things if you do big world for instance, we have trees at, at the far back. We, we don't really have to bake any ambient occlusion in those. So everything within this importance uh, volume is going to be at the highest quality. It's basically going to be important. Next thing is I'm going to bring sky portals. Uh, sky portals. light mass portals sorry that's that's the name light mass portals is the same um, portals that we use in v-ray uh, pretty much same thing we're going to place it at the opening and we need to scale it up we need to bring it to cover the entire window here let me just change my snapping to one that way I'll be able to snap it a little better all right so now let's scale this in order to match our opening and with clicking alt I can pull it up and duplicate it so we're going to duplicate it put it on top I'm going to speed up this video and place all of those uh, sky portals in every opening all right and we have placed all our sky portals I mean uh, light mass portals 
in every opening and the last thing that we need to do here is to bring reflections reflection capture we're gonna use spherical and I'm gonna decrease the radius I'm gonna put 800 here and now we need to place every reflection capture volume in every room so I'm gonna place one in the middle here click alt and duplicate bring one here okay and just make sure it's covering everything in there and I'm gonna click uh, Alt and drag it, put it in my kitchen. It's in the middle of a room like that. And again, one more up to my bedroom. Okay. All right, so those are the five things that we need to do uh, in our scene in order to start. Uh, baking our light and bring lights into our scene uh, we need to adjust our lighting maps we need to bring importance volume adjust and position our reflection captures and of course neutralizing post-processing volume right here in the middle in order to have our exposure uh, neutralized and not being ramped up every time we walk into the space all right, so join me to the next tutorial where we're going to do some light baking.